this is PMA Fitness. Yes, YouTube, how you doing? It's Faisal here, AKA Mr. PMA, and thank you for joining me on this upper body 20 minute HIIT workout. We've got 20 moves for 40 seconds. We'll be doing them with a 20 second rest in between each one. A couple of things that you need to remember to have, a bottle of water, maybe a towel, and if you do have time to warm up, I've got a warm up workout that you can do somewhere in the, in the world of YouTube. Click on that, come back here, and let's get this upper body done. So our first movement is just gonna be a plank, guys. We're just gonna hold this plank, but I want you to get your arms, your shoulders even right over your wrist, holding it down. And I, I want you to imagine that you're pushing your hands into the floor, all right? Okay, I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna lock the screen. We're in to go. 40 seconds, let's do it. Here we are. So, think of your feet and hands pushing into the ground. Shoulders over your wrists. Keeping your belly button sucked up into your spine. We've got about 18 seconds remaining here. This static position. Ugh. Getting everything tight. And I want you to think about why do I want to do this workout? What's the reason? Ah, awesome work. From there, we're going to go into a good old fashioned push up, working our chest and all our upper body, really. So, how I would do them always chest to floor. Regardless if you're on your toes or your knees, it's always chest to floor. We do have the other version, which is a box version. So, you go now. The box version is right there. So, push ups, chest to floor, squeeze it up. Whether you're on your toes, on your knees, or if you go into that box push up on all fours, you just want to focus on looking forward about three inches or so from where your head is, and then just getting that chest down, squeeze it up. So we've got about 18 seconds left. I'm focusing right now. Go out five. Oh yeah. Arms, 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 arms. From there, we're gonna go into a shoulder tap. So I really want you to shake your arms out because this one, we're gonna go into a high plank and we're just gonna tap our shoulders. So I'll come face onto you. So you're right there, tapping, tapping away. All right, here we go. Now, you really wanna focus on squeezing your glutes in. You wanna keep those hips solid to the floor. You don't want any of this kind of rotation business going on. Try your best not to. Now, if you can't do this, we can always drop it down to our knees. Staying with that movement of tapping your shoulder. But do your best. It doesn't matter how many times you do this. You just gotta really try and keep your knees from the floor. Yeah, buddy. Nice, shake it out. From there, we're gonna go into a Superman. We're gonna lie down flat on the floor, and I want you to focus on your hips and chest coming off the floor. So we're right here. Back down. Right there. Okay, chest and hips off the floor. Just for under 40 seconds. Really working our back. Working all the muscles on our back. Oh man, I'm feeling it already. We've got about 15 seconds left, guys. Focus. It's called Superman for that reason. Flying through the air. That's a nice one. Uh, all right, from there, Superman, we're going to go into a plank toe touch. Okay, so. Right there, opposite hand to opposite toe. Toe touch, toe touch. Ooh. Got to require a bit of speed and balance. Here we go. You with me? Toe, 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 toe. Now, if you can't get to the toe, tap your knee, okay? It's a shorter distance, but it's still gonna 
get you to have to work using that upper body, getting our core involved as well. How long left? 18 seconds. Looking good. Oh, I'm working this one. He's working this one. About five seconds, I'd say. <laughs> All right, so from there, we're going to go into crab reaches. A crab reach. So feet flat on the floor, hands on the floor. And we're going to reach behind you, bringing your hips up using all this upper body right here, chest. Reach behind you and we're back down and we alternate, okay? Right there, boom. I want you to look at where you're reaching to. Really using that arm here, that static arm. So take all your body weight and your yeah, strength working up here. How long left? About 15 seconds. Looking good. Waiting for that buzzer. One more. Yeah. From the crab reaches, we go to shoulder squeezes. A crab reach to a shoulder squeeze. We're going to lie down the floor. Thumbs pointing towards the ceiling, and all we're going to do is squeeze the shoulder blades together. So imagine you've got like a satsuma in between your shoulder blades, and you want juice, baby. Squeeze that satsuma. Work in those shoulders, your rear shoulders as well. Get in every angle. Mm, squeeze. And it's also a chance for you to really focus on why you're here. Why am I lying on my bedroom floor or kitchen floor or living room floor and doing what this guy's telling me to do? Because you want to get stronger. You want to feel good about yourself. All right, nice. From there, shoulder squeezes. We go to a pike shoulder press. We're really going to get into these shoulders now. So, watch me here. What is that? What a dirty floor. Okay, cool. So, you're going to pike up and the top of your head is going to come down to the floor as you shoulder press, okay? So, I want you to look at your toes the whole way through this movement. Top of your head, down to the floor. You've got to bend those elbows and then push through them, working your shoulders and your triceps here. Yeah, buddy, just there. You can hear my shoes creaking. <laughs> my Metcons are creaking. I only got about 10 seconds remaining. Shoulders, baby. Uh. Nice. <laughs> Pike shoulder press. So, a plank saw. Let me slide him out of this place. So, from a plank out on your elbows, we're just going to rock forward and back. So bring your chest right on top of your wrists and back, okay? All right, here we go. We're in, guys. Let's do it. Rock. You heard my elbow click there. Ooh, it was a nice one. So this is really getting that core and your shoulders working. Oh my God, the burn is unreal. Ah, come on, Faisal, back in. He's back in. I've right, got about 18 seconds to go. Just rocking on the tiptoes. That time is coming. Man, oh man. Last one of our first 10 movements. It's going to be burpees. Woo! You know what burpees are. Here's how we do them. You're going to come down, kick out, in, and just give me like a little jump. Boom, all right? That's a regular burpee. Regular burpee, right there. Modified burpee, crouch down, step out, step in, stand up. A strict burpee, chest to floor. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got about 30 seconds. Now remember, you've got to work to your ability. Whichever one you're at, work to it. About four seconds left. Ah. Ah. Killer. That's ten movements down. We're halfway. Ten to go. We're going to go straight back to the top. So we're going to be holding that high plank position. Holy moly. Wow, my arms. Arms are killing. Okay. We're in. So it just goes to show that you don't need equipment or a fancy gym or anything to get a decent workout in. This is just you and me, our bodies, in our space, just getting it done. It's the beauty of HIIT training. It's the beauty of doing a workout anywhere in the world. Oh, I'm gonna have a little rest because my shoulders are killing. Hold that plank. About eight seconds left. Yeah, nice. Oh, shake your arms out. Next one's gonna be push-ups. So again, those variations of being on your toes, on your knees, or on a kind of like a box position, toes and knees on the floor. But it's all about this, your chest kissing the ground. We are in. Let's go, Faisal. Staying focused. That's only 10 seconds. Ah. Now if you do need to rest, pie cup, it's always better to have some sort of active recovery. Like we're still working in this position here. So it's always best to have that active recovery. We've got about 10 seconds left. Ah. Yes, it's okay to make, it's all key, it's okay to make any noise you want. Make those noises, whatever they do for you. So, from there we're gonna go into a shoulder tap in that high plank position, tapping our shoulders. We're gonna feel those wrists getting to work. All right, here we go. So, spread your feet out. Gonna kind of distribute your body weight and help you out on this one. If your feet are together, you're gonna feel these hips rocking from side to side, and we don't want that. We want those hips to be solid, square onto the floor, <sighs> working those arms. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Taking that rest, oh my God. <sighs> Eight seconds left, come on. <sighs> ah. Crazy how much of a burn they give you. From there, we're going into a Superman. I'm going to go this way for this one. So remember, chest and hips off the floor. Chest and hips off the floor. At the same time, we are in. Working every muscle down the back of our body. Glutes, your whole back. Even these arms. Oh man. You really feel it. I can actually feel myself getting stronger. Every rep we do. How long is left? Almost there. Keep working. Ay ay ay. Good job. So from there we got those plank toe touches where you're kind of really going to get into your balance and you're going to really start to fatigue here. So I need you to stay focused and stay with me and keep up with me. Here we go. In that high plank, opposite hand, to opposite toe. Now remember, if you can't get that toe, you just tap that knee, tap that knee, tap that knee. You're going to get that little rotation in there, Ooh, hitting that toe.
Now I've really done my best to design these workouts to target, you know, this upper body. And sometimes it's like a little bit challenging not to do the same stuff over and over again. Ah. But just mixing up different variations of a different movement. I thought I'd cut myself if I didn't. It, uh, it stimulates the muscle in a different way. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so from there, plank toe touches, crab reaches. All right, we've got four seconds. Let's go. Crab reaches on our hands, reaching up over our head, looking to where we're getting to. Working that arm, our back. Look at all this upper body movement here, your chest, your abs, all the way down. And make sure when you do place your hand on the floor, it's solid. You've got a good placing with that hand. Last one. Yeah, buddy. Grab reaches into shoulder squeezes. So remember, we're just going to lie on our front. Arms out, thumbs up, and we're going to imagine that satsuma's in between our shoulder blades, and we're just going to squeeze that satsuma because we want some juice right now. Ah. Down to the floor, squeeze. Love this one for your shoulders, and it really does, you know, kind of make you think of how good your shoulder mobility is. Like, are you able to go all the way up? Or I just kind of there. Uh, my shoulder mobility isn't that great. But you really do feel that burn. Yes, sir. Whoa, that was good. I love that. So from those shoulder squeezes, we're going into a pike shoulder press. Pike on our bum up, like so, bottom. Oh, sorry, the top of our head, going all the way down to the bottom of the floor, squeezing it up. All right? Really get into these shoulders. Oh, we are in. The top of your head, down to that floor, looking at your toes. See how my legs are straight, my head's through my shoulders. Bending those elbows, squeezing the floor away from me. And just finding your tempo, finding your rhythm, not rushing it, trying to focus on that perfect execution. And again, remember, you're working to your ability. So I might be able to do 20 reps, you might be able to do five or 50. Everyone's got their own pace. But the beauty with HIT is that we're all working at the same level, because it's our own level. So it's awesome stuff. So from there, we're gonna go into a plank saw. Guys, we are two away from the finish line, okay? so. On our elbows, this one's actually really challenging, a lot more challenging than I thought. So, rocking on the tippy toes, bring your chest over your wrists and back to that normal elbow plank. Rock forward and back. Let's get a nice momentum going here, guys. Yep. Oh my God, how much longer? Almost there. Oh, killer. Killer, 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 killer. Burpees. This is it. 40 seconds, the distance, the finish line is in sight. Me and you together. What's the reason? Visualize it right now. Why are you doing this? What do you want from it? Visualize it, look at it. Let's rock and roll. Remember, you've got to work to your ability. So whether you're a regular burpee person or you're a modified burpee person, it don't matter. Work to your ability. Yep. 
You got about 18 seconds left. Come on. Almost there. Ah. Twenty minutes, high intensity interval training at its finest. In terms of the way we do it, forty seconds on, twenty seconds off. Guys, can't thank you enough for doing that with me. I hope you feel great. Now this week, try and do that three to five times throughout Monday to Saturday or your seven days. Do your best. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments below. Now, if you do want to cool down, hit my cool down workout video right now. Get a few stretches going on. But if not, make sure you can get a little something in there before you rush off and carry on with the rest of your day. Much love, Mr. PMA. Boom!